And now we're going to talk about your soul number. Not only how to calculate it, but what does it mean? Well, your soul number, it's based on the vowels of your name. And so it's really telling you who is the real you, the inner you, the hidden you. Um, would you like to find that out, Lynn? Oh, I can't wait. So, so does this mean that uh, the soul number, that I can find my soul mate through this number? Or well, is it just see, about me? It's really just about okay. you. Okay. Um, wow, okay. But you could use it to find your soul mate, if you wish, along with all the other things one can use. I'd like to know <laughs> about my inner soul. Can't wait. Okay, good. Please. So what we're going to do is we're going to use what we've already discovered about Lou's name and all the numbers contained within it. And we're going to just pull out the vowels. So the vowels we've got is O, that's six, U, three, A, one, and A, another one. So we've got six plus three plus one plus one. So that's which how you equals, do it. You pull out all the vowels. Exactly. Wow. Pull out all the vowels and you get to nine, ten, eleven. Eleven equals two. So Lou's soul is all about partnership. That's the second time that happened mm -hmm. that you did a came down to 11 and 2. Came down to 11 and 2. Isn't that interesting? I love it when the, the, you get the sort of patterns happening yeah, and numbers reappearing. So we've had the 11 and the 2 also in Lou's maturity number. So these things that you're striving for in the second half of your life, Lou, being uh, the partnership aspects, that's also something which is very deep within your soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Thank you. So we're going to be back very shortly with our final segment and that just tells you how the different numbers interact together.